a rare home loss for San Diego State. Another one for them this season. They fall to seven and five with a seven point loss to visiting Grand Canyon who came in from Phoenix under the direction of head coach Dan Marley. And Jordan, from a statistic standpoint, neither of these teams are going to make great headlines with the way they shot the basketball in this game. But Grand Canyon stayed in this one and able to pull off the upset. Yeah, and San Diego, Straits, San Diego State, excuse me, struggles continue to happen in the same exact fashion. They gave up offensive rebounds, 15 of those. Those opportunities were converted eventually by Grand Canyon, and then offensively, those struggles magnified once more. Failure to be able to knock down the perimeter shot. And Grand Canyon took full advantage. They packed their defense in, allowing them not to have to worry about extending out to guard the three. Help side defense omnipresent. No driving lanes available for the Aztecs. No baskets came easy for them. And on the flip side, Grand Canyon, I mean, how much of a man did Keonta Vernon look like in this basketball game? Absolutely dominated, going for 16 points and 11 rebounds. Skylar Spencer is an upperclassman. He's been there. He's a senior. He didn't come out there and meet the challenge. And how fitting that Vernon finishes with the last play of the game, that dunk. And San Diego State Aztec fans leave stunned in this loss. Well, it's back to the drawing board here for head coach Steve Fisher at San Diego State and his coaching staff. And they've got to quickly figure things out. It does not get any easier with number two Kansas coming to this building on Tuesday the 22nd. For my partner Jordan Cornett, I'm Ray Crawford. Again, Grand Canyon the winner 52 to 45. So long from San Diego here on Campus Insiders.